This is Athena Jezik, and we've had some requests and for massage if there's no table available and how we could seat a person in order to uh, accomplish a massage. What we have here is a just a regular chair with a, uh, not a real high back, but a high uh, a back with that's you know fairly high, and we have a pillow in front of that, and then a pillow for the head so that they're comfortable leaning forward. You want to have everything comfortable. You don't want to have them having to hold anything. So she's just leaning into the chair and not having to hold herself up in any way. So these massages are basically, uh, these are also called on-site massages when they're seated massages. And I did for a couple of years go into businesses and gave the employees these kind of massages. Typically, they're not done with uh, bare skin. They're done through clothes and after doing them like that I asked everybody to just take their shirt off when they came in in the office and they did because it was a much better massage than doing it through clothing. But you know when you're at the airport and there's somebody doing this then you know you might want to keep your clothes on because you're going to miss your next flight. If Okay, so basically you just want to do similar things. You want to start up at the neck and I don't know how the, I'll just work from this side. You can work from either side, but you'll give a nice, now the neck in this position has a nice stretch to it, so that's a nice advantage. And you can get a, a much bigger pull on the shoulders in the seated position than you can um, when they're laying on the table, unless the face cradle is pointed downward pretty far. And of course you can't get this if somebody needs to turn their head one way or the other if you're on the floor working. And you just you really just go around and work the muscles and find the bones. It's the same type of thing. You just have to be flexible enough and know how to m modify and change it a little bit, but still cover the same bases. Maybe change the routine up a little bit because of the positioning. Just whatever it takes is the important thing. So, here we are. Okay, now I'm going to move to the other side. And I do sit and stand through these because when you get farther down in the back, um, it's kind of hard on the therapist's back. And therapist's number one rule for all of you out there is you take care of yourself first. Your own positioning, your own biomechanics is really, really important. Because if you don't, then you're not going to be doing this for very long. It's a lot harder work than it may seem. But it doesn't have to be if the time is taken to learn the proper posturing for this and and also just space yourself between people and know what you can handle. Of course any work that you do on your friends or family isn't going to be demanding like the professional is required to do. I'm making circular motions here down the spine because it just, I don't do this particular way down the spine when uh, they're on their stomach, but it just feels like this is a good thing to do. So that's how much the modification can be. Think about what it is you would like, you know, what would feel good to you, the person doing the massage, and, and then transfer that onto the person that you're working on. That's a good way to think about it. Of what feels good. And up under this way. You can still do some shoulder work here even. You can get up under. Shoulder work here. So, you can wrap the body by moving this direction. You can also get inside the rib cage, just, you know, each rib. Not really inside the rib cage, but you're 
going between each rib into those intercostal muscles. That always feels good, but then you do run into a scapula there, so you can't get into all of them. Helps breathing. And... Okay. You can take one more. You can even bring it back down this way. So there's a lot of ways that you can modify this.